Hi there, Bob Tom Blinform, Education Technology and Ed Quarter. We're here today to talk about a very important topic in education right now, which is the ability to capture, catalog, stream and broadcast educational content. We've got a dedicated device here with us today. It's the Matrox Mavex 6020 remote recorder. We're going to have a look around the device, plug it in, see how it works, connect it up to the Panopto system and see exactly how it would function in an education setting. So first off, let's have a look at the device. First thing we notice is it's a very solid frame. Uh, size is important as well. It's, uh, it's a half rack design which means it's gonna fit onto any shelving unit or cabinet. If we have a look at the connectivity points at the back, you've got your network cable and your power cable both here. These are both gonna be hardwired, which is gonna give you confidence that your streaming broadcast is not gonna be going down part way through. You've got an HDMI at the back here. One is for a camera. Today we're going to be using a GoPro and the second one is for the presentation device. So that's going to be your lecturer's laptop. Then we've got two um, HDMI outs and a third one here as well, which is actually for a confidence monitor. So you can see exactly what's being broadcast at uh, any point. Then you've got two audio inputs at the back here and a USB as well second usb around the front here and these are just for usb storage then you've got two three and a half millimeter jacks for headphones and microphones so that's what the device looks like itself now we're going to go ahead and get it plugged in So now we've got it plugged in, we're, we'll have to tour around the, the Panopto system from Craig. Okay, thank you very much for that, Bob. Now let's take a look behind the scenes to see how simple it is to set up the Mavic 6020 by Matrox. Here you can see we've downloaded the configuration and firmware utility app. And it's this app that's gonna guide us through the three-step process of getting the appliance up, operational, and connected to the network. Step one is to set a password. We've already chosen our password, so let's move on to step two. Here at step two, with automatic detection selected, we press search and the software scans the network to try to locate the newly installed hardware. And there it is, it's found it. Now we can press stop and move on to step three. In the final step, we enter our Panopto details, we put in a security key and we're done. Both the Ed Quarter and the education technology teams were phenomenally impressed with the ease of setup on this device. For many network managers or IT professionals, the simplicity of setup should offer some peace of mind. But now that we're set up, let's move over to Panopto. And here we are in Panopto. The easiest way that we found to access the device was to click on the system icon in the bottom left corner. In the menu that pops out, we simply click remote recorders and the screen will show us all of the remote recorders that are connected to the Panopto platform. This top one, this is the one that we want. Now on this screen, we can see a live feed from the Mavex 6020. At present, it's showing a web browser from a laptop and the live footage from the GoPro camera. Now, if you wanted to record some footage or create a webcast, it's as simple as ticking the boxes and pressing the big red button. I think that educators will appreciate the ability to create scheduled recordings. So let's do that. We simply click where it says schedule, choose our primary or secondary recorder, set the date that we want to start the recording or broadcasting, we set the time, and this is where the software gets really interesting. What we're doing here is instructing the Mavex 6020 to record to a routine. We set it to record at 12 o'clock for one hour, and let's say we'll be teaching that class in the same room every Tuesday and Wednesday at the same time until March 1st. You can set the quality, Choose if you want to webcast or save the file locally. And through the integration between Panopto and the Mavic 6020, this device will follow your instruction and autonomously record or broadcast without any further intervention. What a great example of how technology can become an enabler. Back to you, Bob. Thanks, Greg. So now we've seen how the device works and plugged it into the Panopto system. Who's 
who, who's it really for? So it's going to be for any educational institute that's already using or is considering using the Panopto system. If you're a school, college or university and you're looking for a powerful streaming and recording device for your lectures, um, you know, this is going to hit the spot. If you're a network manager or an IT manager, um, well, really well because it's just got a set it and forget it functionality. Once you've been in and you set up all your scenes and everything, you know, it's just good to go. At the same time, you can access it remotely to check on the health of the stream at any point. In addition, it's got the scheduling functionality. So you can actually set it in accordance to events and lectures that are taking place. And that plays for the lecturer really, really well as well, because they can just come in and they know that all the tech is taken care of. They can just focus on delivering their lecture. And that's the device. So the Matrox Mavec 6020 remote recorder. If you want to find out some more details, there's some links coming up on the screen now.